Hey, what's going on, city slickers and all my slickerettes? It's brick out here. I'm changing my jacket. This ain't making it. This jacket ain't making it. I need that that snorkel, that Timberland with the insulation jacket, all that. This ain't making it. This pretty, this pretty look. Forget about it, bro. Hang these up, put some boots on. Too cold for these, man. Save that for the summer, man. I'm wearing like combat boots, some big rubber boots. I just uh, washed the car. She look pretty clean, right? Nice. Jesus. The gas was crazy, though. Oh, man. I gotta get new rims, man. The salt messed up my rims. See that? Got it. Oh. I put this on when I go to car wash. Because this is aftermarket. I gotta get a new one. I put these on. Now they sell the lights with the strip. And when I go to car wash, I put this on so they don't feel off. Wow. And then that's inside, nice and warm. I want to take my son to Chuck E. Cheese. I want to take him to see the tree, but it's a little too cold. Um, I'm going to drive downtown. It's going to take us like two hours. And then we're going to get out the car and freeze. We might as well go to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, that rhyme. We're going to get out the car and freeze. We might as well go to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's cold out here. The van looks nice, man. Besides the, the gas and everything, it's like 75 in gas because I had a little, uh, I had some gas in there. You get in here, it's too cold. Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, no. This ain't, this ain't for me. Let me move from here. Where you said? Nice van, brother. Nice van? Thank you, man. Thank you, my man. Yeah. Fully loaded. They got the bed, the TV. I can't sit still, so to dedicate myself to an apartment or a house or something. Yeah. I want to move around, you know. So this is good. Have a good one. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Thanks, boss. All right. I say he liked the fan. It looked like he had a sleeping bag in his hand. And, um, Listen, I advise you, if you're homeless, don't get a van, get a Prius. The Prius, the gas is unbelievable. You never see me in the van. You don't see me in the van too much. You see me in the Prius. Um, I'm driving a van because it's been parked for like a month and you have to use your cars. This van, I got this van. What are you eating? I got this van like 10 years ago. Let me get out this gas station. Hold on. Oh, let me lower this. Yeah, guys, what I was telling you about that guy, I slept in my cars plenty of times. Um, but back to the van. Being that it's cold, I got big rims on the van. You hit a pothole, you crack them instantly. And it's just too much. Now, I got to take it to the shop. I just try to put it on park, and it didn't go. Cause I need a wheel alignment, so I guess the thing is twist. I had to twist the wheel and then jam it up in park. Jesus, there's always something, man. Messing up a rim, blowing an amp, and now this the gear thing. But it's okay because this van, like I said, I had this van for 10 years. In 2020, will make 10 years. I got it when my mother passed away in 2010. Yep, she never saw this van, and it didn't look like. The way it looks now, I put 50,000 into this car in the past 10 years. Everybody thought I was crazy, but uh, yeah. Um, it's a 2000. I got this van with about 135,000 miles. He had it for 10 years and he put 135,000 miles. I had it for 10 years. And right now I have 265. And I go to Baltimore, D.C., anywhere, all the time. I go see my, my daughter, my grandkids. Oh, I had a cool.
cough. Yeah, so um, like I said, I got two hoopties, but my hoopties go wherever I want to go. I'm not one of those people with hoopties and my car. Oh, no, I just got a New Jersey. Nah, my car go anywhere. <laughs> it goes anywhere, you know. So, uh, but yeah, I slept in both of my cars plenty of times. And the van, if I turn it on like every two hours or something, let's say I'm watching the TV, so the TV's pulling power, so I have to turn it on to um, charge up my battery. So I, let's say I, every two hours, I'm watching TV laying down, you know. So I charge it up every two hours. In the morning, I wasted $30 in gas. In the Prius, I could sleep in the Prius, let it run all night, and it'll turn off on and off by itself. And lately, um, I've been noticing on the Prius, it's supposed to charge a little more, but it's not charging all the way. So therefore, it's turning on earlier than it's supposed to. So I have to get those batteries fixed. And everybody wants $600. I'm going I'm to learn how to do it myself. By the Ford train, Bedford Park. So yeah, um, I was going to give the guy the $600, but I really want to learn myself. But who knows, I might just let him do this now and then because I need a garage to do that. With a garage, I'm sure I can replace the batteries. For example, um, he said $600 to replace the batteries, but I think it's like 26 batteries, and they call them cells. So why give him $600 if maybe out of 26 cells, five are messed up? Um, usually they'll charge you like $55 per cell. So... Let's say that's five cells. What's that? Uh, it was almost like 600, something like that. But my point is, he told me, no, it could be one cell or all the cells, 600, either or. I was like, oh. But the Prius, you can sleep in the Prius, it'll turn on and off. And if the battery were better, it wouldn't turn on. Like it's, it'll, it's, like it's turning on like every 30 minutes. It's supposed to turn on, I'm thinking like every hour or something. But it's turning on every 20, 30 minutes. If I'm sleeping, I hear the car turn on and turn off. And when I wake up, I fill it up. I keep, it's good to keep your cars full. The van, I don't really keep full. I just filled up the van today, but I don't really fill this van up, you know. To fill up the van, you're talking 80 to $100. So, uh, but I filled it up. And um, I believe you get better mileage when you have a full tank where are we? Jesus, eight minutes. All right. So the Prius, let's say when I wake up in the Prius, I fill it up, 450 for the whole night. Basically what? Let's say 10, 12 hours, $4.50. It's amazing. The Prius is the best car they ever made. That's the best Toyota ever made. That's the best car I ever bought. I thought this was the best car I ever bought. But, um, you know, people say, why you got those? Why don't you get a new car? Now I want a new car. I went to today to the Dodge, what is it? Jeep, Dodge, oh, Chrysler Jeep Dodge dealer today. Shout out to Jasmine. I went to see Jasmine. I got to go see her tomorrow. Shout out to Mariana. And Jasmine says she has a daughter Jude? I think it's Jude. Hold on. Lucky I wrote it down because I have a memory problem. Jasmine's daughter's name is Jade. Jade, your mother tell me you're thinking about a YouTube channel? Do it, Jade. Go for it. I wish I would have been your age when, you know, YouTube just been out like 15 years. But I wish I was your age, Jade, um, when YouTube came out. I would have been had a channel. So, um... To you, City Slicker says, go for it, Jade. Go for it. All right. Thank you, Jasmine. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm trying to see if Jasmine can hook me up with a Durango. And, um, yeah. If I can't get it, I'm not trying no more. That's it. I'm done. But I do need a new car. And I'm going to keep both of, my, both of my little hoopties. Why not? So, yeah, guys. Um, it's freezing out here. And um, I wanted to take my son to 
Rockefeller Center, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna park probably five blocks away, freeze to get there. And he's probably gonna look at it. We're gonna take pictures and you know what? Let's just go to Chuck E. Cheese, man. I'm tired. It's too cold. I, I just was driving by. I just took it to the car wash. I couldn't even wash this car by the car wash in front of Albert Einstein. It's a McDonald's there. Because he's a high top fan, so I can't just go to any car wash. And um, when I get out the car wash, I'm coming down Pelham Park. Wow, it was like 50 people at the bus stop. Everybody's like, looking, where's the bus? Is it coming? And I was like, wow. I bet you all those people that laugh at my hoopties wish they had one today. They're going to learn. They're going to learn today. My little hoopties got heat. <laughs> all right, guys. I had to shout somebody out, man. Forgot the girl's name from the car wash. But I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go get my son, go to Chuck E. Cheese. And then um, thinking about hitting the road, I want to go see uh, my two grandsons in Baltimore. And I'm not taking the van, of course. The gas is going to be crazy. The gas is like, I think 70 each way, something like that. The Prius, 15 each way. I'll take the Prius. Forget it. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm changing this coat. I'm changing these sneakers. I want some boots. And I need a, a snorkel put on my Timberland coat. Where are we? 11 minutes. All right, let me let you guys go. So yeah, this Phantom made 20 years. I'm thinking about selling both cars too. I'm gonna just put it on Craigslist and see. But I'm afraid, you know, because my plan was to keep this van and put a city slicker wrap on it and hit the road. So let's say while I'm on the road, people can see my wrap. They'll see NY City Slicker on YouTube. They'll see Greenlight. And also, I can also put all my sponsors on my van because now I'm working on sponsorship. Um, if I could, I'm trying to get the channel where I want it to be, and it's not where I want it to be. If you guys know, I need um, 600 more subscribers, then I'll get monetized. You need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. I have 8,500 hours of watch time and 400 subscribers. So I need 1,000 subscribers then I get monetized, but I'm working on partnership now, sponsorships, and yeah, once I start getting my sponsorship, then I can wrap the van up and I can hit the road. Yeah, I want to hit the road. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm a New Yorker. I love my Tims and my hoodies and my big coats, but I think the older I get, the more I think of Florida. The less I'm thinking about the Poconos. I love the Poconos. You know, I like the country. I like that rugged um, Timberland with a red and black lumberjack shirt. I like that, you know, my jeans. But it's getting cold, man. And things, I don't know. It's just not the same. So, I'm thinking about checking out Florida. I never been to Florida. So, that's something to think about. All right, guys, let me let you go. Shout out to Tristan, my Brooklyn crew. Shout out to my man, Double D. Not Double D from Staten Island. My man Double D from BK. And shout out to Tristan for them 13 touchdowns. Your pops told me about you, man. Good job, man. Good job, Tristan. And um, shout out to DK. Shout out to my man DK, Double D, and Tristan. My book, my Brooklyn crew. Oh, wait. I forgot. I had to give somebody a shout out from Brooklyn, too. Yeah, I had to give somebody a shout out. I tried to go get my hair cut. Um, he told me I had five people and, um, I said, forget it. I gotta shave anyway. And you know what? I just go tomorrow and I'm wearing my hat anyway. This is hat season. If you don't got a hat, you're going to catch a uh, pneumonia. Pulmonia. <laughs> had to put my glasses on. Let me give a shout out to Blake's International Restaurant. Shout out to Valerie, man. It's this spot um, yesterday. I don't know if I told you. Uh, I usually get my beef patties there, oxtails. Um, yesterday I had chicken and um, curry chicken. Yeah. Peas, peas and rice. So shout out to Blake's, Blake's International Restaurant on Church Avenue. 
that's my my little spot when I go out to BK. I always go there. And shout out to Valerie. She's a nice person. She's always taking care of me. Thank you, Valerie. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you next week. Yeah. All right, guys. Let me let you go. Gotta go pick up uh, baby Shazam and um, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese, man. It's a little too cold for the tree. I hope y'all stay warm. If you like to donate to the channel, NY City Slickers. NY, it's NY City Slicker with an S at the end on Cash App. And also money orders to my P.O. Box. P.O. Box 385, Bronx, New York, 10465. That's also my P.O. Box is um, you can send money orders there. You can send me a postcard. You can send me if you got a product coming out and you want me to review it, send it to my P.O. Box. And I'll talk about it. And yeah. And you can also order your merch like that. If you want to buy um, any shirts or hats. I mean hoodies or hats. Um, you can send a money order to my P.O. Box. Or you can send it to my cash app. So whether you donating or you buying. You could use either or. Cash app or money order to my P.O. Box. Alright guys. Love you. I'm going to see you mañana. I'm going to take my boy out. And um. Let's see where we going this weekend. Peace. Green light, Papi. You heard? Shazam! Later.